Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys are having the most wonderful day. Um, today guys, I want to share with you everything I purchased at Home Bargains. Um, this is my reusable bag. You will see it's a bit crumpled. I do try to reuse um, bags when I remember to bring them with me. I don't know if you guys do the same thing, but you go out just go out for the day and then you end up buying things and you end up buying another bag but I do try to keep a reusable bag inside my handbag and just like this bag says I only went in for one thing and yet this bag is crammed crammed full of stuff so guys I'm going to pull this off to the side I'm just going to tilt it down ever so slightly and then I'm going to show you guys just what I purchased so guys, the first thing um, that I picked up was, um, and I know we're coming to the end of like summer season, but um, I always like to pick up these for um, the next season. So these are little wasp traps. Um, they are a safe and effective way of attracting um, wasps and killing them. I don't tend to kill them. What I usually tend to do is I trap them and then I take them. There is a like mountain sort of field right behind me. I take them up there and, and um, allow them to take the top off and allow them to come out. Um, I try to do that, um, but I like the fact that this can be hung up um, and it's freestanding. And you get two in this pack. Let me just quickly show you guys what it is. They are pretty straightforward. They're little plastic containers. You do tend to pop a little bit of honey or something sweet in the bottom. You simply pop on the lid. The wasps <coughs> fly in and they can't get out again. Um, and you have two entrances, no exit. Um, and they're very easy to open and allow um, the wasps wasps out um but i i always like to have these um they're never really that easy to pick up um i find they're not that easy to pick up um throughout the year so when i see them um even though we're coming to the end of the season i do tend to pick them up and keep them for next year these little um two pack cost me one pound fifty i think that's pretty reasonable um a pretty reasonable price I, I'm, and I'm definitely happy to have them. Guys, I picked up a pack of four tape. I've already used um, two of the tapes, but you get um, 50 meters of tape. I think these cost me 89p for four. Um, I've already used two. I started um, putting some stuff together and I needed sellotape. So um, that was still in there. I meant to actually take that out, but that was still in there. Um, and I just um, always love to have um, tape around the house. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to get some of the stuff out to make it easier for me. Um, guys, I picked up a number of, I tend to, when I get a really good bargain, I tend to pick up, if I can find the other one, I tend to pick up a number of different um, types of stuff. So I must have only purchased two of these. I thought I purchased three. So these are Grace Cole, um, they're made in England. They're nectarine, nectarine blossom and grapefruit um, hand and body lotion. These were only 49p. I thought they looked really, really nice. Um, I don't know what they smell like, but I love the click at the top. They're definitely citrus. You're getting um, a burst of citrusy, um, ooh, citrus flavor in these little um, hand and body lotions. I just thought they were really cute. They're good to have around. They're great to put into. Um, they're great to put into like a little gift basket if you're crafty and like to make those up. I do, um, so I think they're pretty nice. And I love this embossed Grace Cole. Um, that's on the lid. It makes it look a little bit more fancy and definitely makes it look like it's worth um, it's worth more than um, I think 49p or 59p um, but still less than a pound and you're getting 100 milliliters. They're really easy um, to pack away because they're not big, big and bulky but I just thought they were super cute and I think they'll make a great addition to maybe a potential um, gift basket that I'm making. So guys, I also purchased different Fabulosa stuff. Um, I, if you watch my channel, you know that I am a definite supporter of this Fabulosa brand. Um, I'm not sponsored by Fabulosa, just to let you know, I'm not sponsored by anybody. Um, but I love this Fabulosa stuff. So um, this is a new product, a new product that I've seen. And it is a foaming 
FAMO, Ultra Foaming Freshener and Sanitizer. It's for drinks, uh, or for sinks, drains, and plug holes. Um, my plug hole gets a little greasy, I do have to say. Um, and it sometimes it can be a little, I don't know, backed up, I guess. And I, I'm hoping that this foaming... Um, product helps with that um they only had two different types when i was there i would have purchased more they have a ras villa um and they have a sherman Le uh, lemon sherbet so i'm going to try these out guys and if i use if i have used these products before the video goes out i will definitely put an update to let you know how these are but i'm really excited to try these these are only a pound each and it's really great that they're suitable um for vegetarians or for vegans i don't know um, I'm trying to read this, but it's they're cruelty free, which I think is pretty awesome. So, guys, I will give you an update on those if I've used them before this video was out. But I'm hoping to use the video or to use these pretty much after. It. So, I will keep you guys up to date. Guys, the next thing that I purchased, um, I've seen these in loads of places. I don't tend to wear fake nails, and my nails at the moment aren't painted, but my nails do tend to be quite long. Um, but I thought these were fun, um, maybe for Halloween. Um, so I picked up a per, uh, set of black. And you, they may look matte, but they have a tiny bit of sparkle. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, but it's a pack of 24 um, piece nails. Um, it comes with the nail glue. I don't tend to use the nail glue. I have little nail pads that I think are, are much kinder. Um, but these were only a pound. And I thought, why not try these out um, and see how fun they would be? I mean, they're just for potentially like a Halloween outfit or... Or something like that I don't know but for a pound for a set of 24 which gives me almost two applications I think that's a pretty decent little bargain now what else do we have guys you've also seen this on my channel um I have bought numerous amounts of this um Swiss formula slimy um slime this one is in the gold glitter I don't believe I had the gold glitter before and I wanted to pick it up but this slime is awesome. It isn't runny. It, it keeps it keeps itself kind of very together. I think um, it's less messy. Um, I love the fact that it um, is suitable for sensitive skin. It has no parabens. Um, so it's completely safe slime to play with. And it's also awesome. This little slime um, pack you're getting, it does, I don't think it tells me, how many grams you're getting and if it does I can't see it if you guys see it um let me know but I have opened and played with this slime and I think it's pretty darn good um and I think you get an excellent amount for the value so for 99p a pound I think that's that's a pretty decent little find what else do we have oh we got some candy um, guys, I always buy paracetamol. This is nothing um, spectacular, new or fun. But I always buy paracetamol when I'm in um, Home Bargains because they're 29p a pack. Um, I think that's pretty decent um, for a pack of 16. We always like to keep paracetamol, paracetamol on hand. Um, so for 29p, I think that's pretty darn good. Um, that will restock back up my medicine cupboard. I'm going to show you guys just a couple of little candies that I bought. Oh, I've got more than a little. Um, but I'm going to show you guys. So I bought, I do, do not like sour sweets, but my um, nieces and nephews in Canada do love them. Um, so I purchased these, the Natural Confectionery Co. There are no artificial colors or flavorings, which is awesome. Um, they are... I'm sorry, I'm just putting down some more of the sweets. Um, they're sour squirms. So basically sugary sour worms. Um, you're getting 160 grams um, in the pack for 99p. I think this is pretty darn good. Actually, guys, are these out of date? The 28th of the 9th, they are. Oh, darn. It doesn't matter. They won't go. I'll do something else with these. Um, but... There, that's not that's not a bad price. I think these ones probably I've just picked them up and they haven't been um, turned around. But that's okay. Um, I will do something with these or I will bring them back to the store and let them know that they are out of date. I mean, I'm sure they're still going to be fine, but we'll check those out. And um, the next thing that I purchased is these. I've never seen these before and I wanted to try them. They're made by Swizzles. I love Swizzle Sweets. I'm a huge fan of um, 
the little lollies that you get from Swizzles. Love, love, love those. These are vegan friendly, natural flavored puds, chewy bars. And I picked these up because they're little individual bars, um, which are pre-packed. Um, I'm going to put this into um, my Halloween candy haul. Um, just so that I have enough stuff for the trick-or-treaters. Um, but in this pack, you get lemon meringue, um, rhubarb crumble, sticky toffee pudding, and apple pie and custard. Um, and guys, because I'm going to put these into my um, thingy, uh, my thingy hole, my thingy hole, my um, Halloween haul, I'm just going to open them so we can see what they actually look like inside. So they're just a little um, bit of taffy. Um, it swizzles great British um, and there we have stuffy uh, sticky toffee pudding we have apple and custard ooh apple and custard um we have oh what's this one we have rhubarb crumble and there was another one oh yeah it is this one it is the lemon meringue um so guys I think they're just going to make another fun little addition to my um Let's just pour them all out to my um, Halloween candy haul. I mean, I'm building up quite a stash of sweets now for the trick-or-treaters. I'm just hoping that um, with less restrictions in place, we get a lot more trick-or-treaters than we've had in the last, um, than we had last year because I had a ton of sweets um, and two trick-or-treaters. So all of that um, sweets or candy went straight to um, the food bank. Um, I don't like to waste food. I don't like... Actually, guys, that's what I could do with these. I can put them in the little food bank. Um, I mean, these are made of gum, um, gummies. So I know the, the um, expiration date has only just passed. So I'm not too worried. Um, I st and I still think these will be fine. I love Haribo. Honestly, comment in the comment section below if you love Haribo. I love anything Haribo. Um, these are Haribo chamallows um they are the happy world of haribo guys these are so so nice um this is a sure bag and i just really really like marshmallows these little um haribo sure bag are a pound i think that's pretty awesome they are 170 grams i'm not the only one in my family who loves marshmallows i have a little nev um, nephew who calls his marshmallows schmarshmallows and i love when he comes and asks can i have a schmarshmallow I hope nobody teaches him the real word. Um, but they're soft and fluffy. I like because they're really finely coated in sugar. And I love kind of like, um, I love the feeling of the texture of the kind of um, soft marshmallow against the crunchiness of the sugar. It's delicious. And um, guys, another um, candy bar that I bought or um, chocolate bar that I got. I've never seen this before. This is a Cadbury's white, creamy white chocolate. And it's called... Marvelish, marvelous creations and it's got jelly popping candy inside it um this is a huge bar this bar is really thick you can see this little bar whole bar of chocolate cost one pound which i think is outstanding value um and we are getting 160 grams of cabri's um white chocolate which is my ultimate favorite white chocolate is to die for it's my favorite um and it's responsibly um sourced so that's pretty pretty awesome i'm so looking forward to tucking into that and another one of my all-time favorites <coughs> is round tree jelly tots these are so good um i like my jelly tots put in the fridge um i usually leave them in there for a couple of days till they get a little bit harder if you like your jellies slightly more on the um, softer side don't put them in the fridge, but I love when my can um when my chocolate's in the fridge um and when my my jelly sweets are in the fridge. This little pack was a pound. It is I mean this pack normally you get packs that are you buy a pack for a pound and they fill it to here, but this is pretty decently um packed. You also have the chance to win a sunshine break. Don't think I'll be entering that with my luck. But if you guys are interested in entering, please feel free to go ahead and, and scan the QR code. Um, but guys, inside this pack, you're getting 150 grams. I mean, I think that is really decent. Um, these usually last me on average about four days. Um, I will, well, four times. I wouldn't eat them four days in a row, but four times. Um, and they're so delicious when they're in the fridge. 
honestly take my word for it guys again i i love buying little toothbrushes um i have um nephews who stay over with me um often and they're small children um so i was buy these um biodegradable um toothbrushes i think i like these because the guy the boys get to open them so they get to open their brand new toothbrushes they're biodegradable which is amazing and they're colorful um these you get in a in a box of three the box we got some really torrential rain and my a lot of the stuff in the bag got soaked the box got soaked and one of the toothbrush packages got soaked so i've removed those but you do get a pack of three and the pack of three are one pound um okay so i'm really sorry about that um if you know anything about ireland you know it rains a lot um we get a ton of rain um so guys i just wanted to let you see that um, another little thing that I purchased, guys, this is £2.50 on it, but it wasn't £2.50. Um, it was down to a pound, so I bought it. This is a, um, actually, this is from Primark. Oh, this has got into my haul from Primark. Guys, this is actually a Primark product, so I do apologize. You're getting that thrown in as a bonus. This is just um, a little bath salts, um, relax and sleep. This I pay, I, I, um, I did pay a pound for. Um, Primark had a huge sale on and I went down and I purchased um, I purchased some stuff. Um, so this is a little bonus for you. I didn't even know it was in that bag. Apologies. Um, but I don't use this. I don't have a bath. So I don't use this as a bath sleeper. What I do with this is I put um, two spoonfuls into a little pot that I have. It's almost like a ramekin. Um, and the ramekin comes with a little plate that you put it on top of. So you can put it on... Um, you can put it on like surfaces without burning it and I put hot water in it um, and I set that by my ba my bedside and I let the vapors just make me kind of um, fall over to sleep. I don't know if you guys have, have feel the same, but I've been finding recently through the pandemic, it's been a little harder for me to sleep at night. I think just with everything in the world going on, sometimes that can overwhelm you and you can get just a little bit of anxiety. Um, so I find that this really does help um, with the lavender. I don't know what vet, vet of fear is. If you guys know, let me know in the comment section below. But that's a little bonus. Did not know that was in this packaging. Okay, guys, I've got some more fun little items. Um, if I can get through this haul without making it a 35-minute video. Guys, I use this Nair Her Removal um, Sensitive Cream all the time. I use it um, mostly for my legs. Um, I don't tend to use it anywhere else. I don't like using stuff like this on my um, underarm, like my armpits. I don't know. I just get a bit worried, but it's great for your legs. Um, you get a five minutes, which is awesome. Um, I usually leave it on for 10. Oh, yes. Um, do not leave it on for more than 10 minutes until I usually leave it on for 10. It does say five, but I leave it on for 10. I mean, guys, this does this um, 80 milliliters um, tube does both my legs. Um, so I buy this often enough to have it. It's sometimes harder to get the sensitive one. Um, these are a pound, by the way. Um, it's harder to get the sensitive one. So I do currently have one, um, but I wanted to have a backup, I think. Yeah, it's just a random bottle of conditioner. I usually, my hair is really long. It's probably um, over halfway down my back. I use probably two bottles of conditioner to every one bottle of shampoo, sometimes two and a half. Um, but I ran out of the sweet strawberry conditioner. I do have half a bottle of the shampoo left. Um, so I needed to pop out and I needed to get another sweet strawberry conditioner. This smells so amazing on your hair. If you guys have not used um, Alberto Balsam before, I really recommend the sweet strawberry and the apple. They are so, they just leave my hair smelling fresh and fruity. They're so good and they're silicone free. Um, I think um, Home Bargains have an offer on these at the moment. You get three for the price of two. I do not. I do not need any more shampoo. I have done tons of hauls with shampoo, um, and I have tons of it. But I do like to have the matching conditioner to the shampoo. So I just purchased the one. Um, so this little bottle cost me a pound. But you guys can do the mix and match. Um, three for two, I believe. Um, let me just. I've only got a few more things. I bet you guys are ever so grateful. I love, love, love 
these little rainbow um, bath bombs again guys i don't know why i buy bath bombs because i do not have a bath but i love putting these in with um my little gift baskets or my little um like birthday presents and stuff so when they have these kind of things on offer i do tend to pick them up because this is a 190 bar um bath fizzer and it was 99p so I definitely picked it up. I can see the back has got a little bit. I think I, I must have abused it on the way home. Um, but you can see there's a little chip out of the back. That's not going to cause any real damage. None of the little colored um, fizzers um, have been damaged. So that's awesome. And I think that little cloud with the beautiful pastel colors um, it is going to be outstanding. And guys, you know, you don't really get bath bombs with pastel colors. They're usually a lot brighter, more vibrant. So when I saw this for 99p, I thought, why not pick that up? That is adorable. I really, really like this um, Nivea antiperspirant. That's why I purchased two. I told you guys I have a really bad habit of purchasing multiples. Um, this is Pearl and Beauty. It is very iridescent. I don't know if you guys can see the iridescent. Um, but it gives you 48 hour protection. And it's smooth and beautiful for smooth and beautiful underarms. You get 50 milliliters. Um, I don't know if I'd mention, guys, but I've been working from home probably for nearly two years um, and I don't get out as often as I, I would have before because when I was going to work, I would have popped into shops and see, seen what was there. I'm not really doing that a whole lot more. So I do tend to buy multiples just in case I run out and I haven't been able to get to a shop or a store and be able to pick it up. So I purchased two. The smell on this is so good. It is fruity and summery and beautiful. Um, so I picked up two. These are also in glass bottles. Normally, um, you don't really get glass bottles. Um, but I actually kind of like these little Nivea ones in the glass bottles. So we bought two of those. I don't know why I bought these. I do. I'm kind of hoping that for next year, I'm going to be able to go to Canada to see my sister. I have now not seen her in almost two years. I normally see her twice a year. So that's really sad. Um, I miss her. I miss um, her family. Um, so I'm buying things, hopefully, that I can go early 2022. Um, and I saw these little single pack um, mosquito bands. We, my husband and I get eaten alive when we go on holiday um so we try to do everything that we can to try and just not get bitten so I purchased two of these and I've just realized that they're both small um I may have to pop back and get a large one or two large ones but these um these little bands um were only 50 ph and um, 49 p um and they're white which I like um because they go with everything um so I thought I would pick these up, pop them in my suitcase in the hope that I'm going to get to Canada. But if you guys are eaten alive by mosquitoes, maybe try these out. If anybody has tried them out, let me know. Do you think they're good? Do they work? Um, they are manufactured also in the UK. There's another little fun um, bar of soap. This is a Dreamy Donuts. It's Sweet Treats Soaps. It's wash in the scents. Wash in the scent of a sugar-coated dream cake covered in white chocolate sprinkles. Mm, that is so good. Let's just see what this soap... Oh, okay. This is not covered in chocolate sprinkles. It is just a um, tanned imperial leather mm, bar of soap. But it tastes... It smells... I haven't tasted it. It smells like dreamy donuts. That is so awesome. Yes, these are only um, 60p. I think that's not bad for a different type of, like not your bog standard um, bar of soap. And it only um, it only cost um, 60p and it's 100 grand. So that's pretty darn awesome. Um, a couple more things I wanted to show you guys. And hopefully this video, um, we can wrap it up. This is one of these fidget poppers. This was £1.49. I don't mind paying £1.49 for this because it's a pretty large fidget popper. I like the fact that it has got, it's kind of, it's a very hard base. You can, it didn't come with one, but you can put a clipper on it and attach it to a bag or hang it up on your wall. But this is a really large popper. So you've got a popper, um, all different sizes, the smallest to the biggest. 
Um, and that's just um, a little bit of fun. These are actually a lot of fun. It's almost the same as popping um, bubble wrap. It's fun. But guys, if you're interested in grabbing something as a little stocking filler, I don't think that is a bad price at £1.49. It's pretty big for um, the price point, I think. Um, and it does make a fun um, little addition to a stocking filler or a birthday gift or really um, just as a reward toy. So guys, two more things I'm going to show you. Well, three more things, but two of them again, as normal, are duplicates. Because um, I am a lover of buying duplicates. I think this is pretty, <coughs> pretty darn good. And these are new products. These are um, the XHC Expel Herker. I didn't know that's what that was. They are 97% plant-based shampoo and conditioner bars. There is no plastic. None whatsoever. I think that is absolutely amazing. Guys, these come in three different um, three different scents. You have the banana, you have the papaya, and you also have coconut. Coconut isn't one of my favorite um, scents. I don't mind coconut, but I would prefer, I love the fruity um, smell of um, banana and papaya and strawberry and, and citrus flavors. I like those kind of scents a lot better than I like um, coconut, but I do like coconut. I don't want to discriminate against the coconut because I just thought these were awesome. These shampoo and conditioner bars elsewhere in other places can cost upwards of four pound. <clears throat> I purchased these little bars at 99p a pound. Sorry, they were a pound per bar which I thought think is awesome. It gives you a clear set of instructions on the back. It's a 60 gram bar. Um, all um, recyclable um, materials are used. The bar comes with no um, additional packaging, something I think a lot of companies maybe could um, possibly uptake. Um, I know that I don't need to have a cereal box and then a packet inside the cereal box. I would be happy to have remove the cereal box and just or just remove the packet and give me the box um because the box is recyclable and I can put it in my reusable jars. I mean I just think a lot of companies can maybe learn from that, but I think this is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and have a look at the bar. So the bar looks like this. It is just a solid bar, reusable. Guys, and I do know um that if you don't want to leave your bar just out on your um bathroom sink or you know your 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 um you know like a little plate that you have you can actually buy i believe a little case that you can put your soap um you can put your little shampoo bars into and just have it in your shower or beside your bath and um, but oh my gosh this is so banana -y. definitely cannot mistake that and to have shampoo and conditioner in the one bar, I think is pretty awesome. So that's our banana bar. And then let's have a quick look at our papaya bar. Ooh, this is nice. Sorry, guys. I'll tell you what I was looking at on the side. I was looking at the expiration date. I think that's pretty darn awesome to know that this doesn't expire until 2024. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Mmm. These smell so, so good. Guys, do you know what else I'm loving? I'm loving the fact that these are also suitable for vegans so let's see what we've got inside we have i just want to see what they've got so you've got sodium laurel sulfite i cannot pronounce a lot of these um i cannot pronounce a lot of these you've got shea butter seed butter and fruit oil um parfum and um, guys, so you've got all good natural and plant-based items in these bars for a pound a bar. 
I don't, I've never seen um, shampoo bars that I've been able to buy anywhere for that price. Guys, my last, my favorite item of this haul, favorite, 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 is this Pop Marvel 80 Years number 551 Black Widow. Um, this is more the comic book style Black Widow, um, not your traditional movie Black Widow. Um, it comes from the Tales of Suspense, <laughs> the first appearance, Tales of Suspense, um, Marvel comic. So I just think this is awesome. So this is a bubble head. Um, it is the Marvel 80 Years collection. It is the number 551. Look how pretty um, our um, Black Widow is. Love this comic. This is an amazing graphic comic. And our pop bubble head. So guys, this pop bubble head, you know, pops are expensive and they're even getting even more expensive. <laughs> um, this is a Marvel pop head. Um, this was $2.99, like $2.99. I had to buy this from um, to add to my collection. I just think it is so fun. It is so different. Um, it is totally cute and adorable. And I love it. It's going to be a welcome addition to my um, to my collection. Well, guys, that's everything I have for you. I'm so sorry this video was so long. So we're going to wrap it up real quick. Guys, I really, really hope you liked this video. If you did, please smash that like button. I had a blast buying these things for you and even more of a blast showing you guys. Um, if you're not yet a subscriber and would like to join us, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you here. Don't forget about the notification bell to be notified of any of my future videos. And I truly hope you guys all stay safe. I really, really wish you all the best. And I'm going to catch you next time. Everybody have fun. Take care. Bye.